Hello friends, I am Arijit and today in this video, I am going to tell about a very interesting device. Guess what? That is a drone. Yes, I have a drone today in this video. There is a drone I have with me. And in this video, I am going to tell you about different components of this drone and their respective connections. So how I have connected this drone. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So as you can see there are four motors are connected in the four terminals of this drone this particularly a quadcopter and this yellow colored devices are the ESCs which are used to control these motors and these motors are brushless DC motors whose rating is 1100 kV that means 1100 rpm per volt and we have a battery of 11.1 .1 volt so we can guess or we can calculate that the capacity of the motors will be nearly 12,000 to 13,000 rpm and in the center we have a flight control board uh, this one is a very popular one there is a KK board and there are various connectors are mounted on this board and this is a frame this is a PVC frame you can say to connect all of these components into it and there is you can see a receiver there is a receiver to receive the signal from the transmitter so this is the transmitter i have this is a transmitter six channel transmitter where we have used only the four channels and the fifth and sixth channels are used for the camera we have this battery charger with us this is a battery charger to charge a three cell or four cell lithium polymer battery and this is a battery of 3 cell you can also use a 4 cell battery with this type of quadcopters so now talking about the prices of all of these components the motors will cost you per motor will cost you like 1000 each and the hobby king kk 2.1 flight control board the middle one will cost you like 1500 rupees one pair of propeller will cost you around 150 rupees the lithium polymer battery this is a 2200 mAh battery 25 cycle so this will cost you around 1400 rupees and this battery charger will cost you around 550 rupees okay we have this USB ASP you can see this this one this one is used to flash the KK board with different drivers okay so this is you can use uh, if the if the quadcopter is not working properly then you can use different drivers or softwares and this is a cable we have for set differ for setting different values in the transmitter this thing we can also use to set different values for aleuron yaw pitch throttle so different values are there now talking about the transmitter that we have with us there are these are the two keys which we have to use mainly to control the quadcopter in the left hand side if we push it forward and backward it will work as a throttle and the left and right side will work as rudder and the left hand side the up and down key will be work for elevator and the left and right key will be work for aleuron and we can also see an antenna over here and as well as a antenna as here as well as you can see here is an antenna and this red antenna will be used to receive the signal from the transmitter now let's talk about the connections of this drone here you can see there are four wires and from starting this is motor 1, this is for motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4 so we have 4 motors so we have connected these 4 wires and you can see there are 3 types of colors of the wires the white color is for signal and the red 
for live and the black is for negative you have to remember one thing that you have to put the white wire inside and over here in the other part just opposite to that motor section you can see uh, yes you can see now over here you can see there are four terminals these four terminals are for alurone this first one is the alurone second one is the elevator third one is for thrust and the fourth one is for rudder and the fifth one is for auxiliary you can attach camera if you attach a camera then this port will be needed now in the ESC's you can see these three wires and there are three different colors the yellow color over here is the signal wire and the red and black will be the positive and negative if you see that the motor is actually rotating in the opposite direction you want it to rotate in clockwise but it is actually rotating in anti-clockwise direction then you have to reverse the connection of this red and this black wire now through this ESC there are two terminals this terminal this portion is for the motors and this portion is going to the board this is the KK board this aleuron elevator thrust rudder and there is a buzzer is also there to give a low voltage warning or if you connected the battery then it will beep so that you can get to know that this device is now on okay and also this particular connection will be for the battery there are positive and negative the red is a positive and yellow is here represent the negative another very important thing to watch out that here you can see four wires are going in in the receiver portion this is a receiver and four wires are going in the first three wires is for signal the white one I have already told this is for signal this is the red and the blue this and the black is for negative and positive and these three wires is also for signals though they are black and red but these are all used for signals because we have already powered it through the other two red and black which is coming from this aleuron elevator thrust and throttle portion this is the receiver so th this will receive the control signal from the transmitter so this is what we have in this uh, video about the connections I know this is a long video but I have tried to make it an interesting one so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do hit the like button thanks for watching